What's going on there, YouTube? Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. And today we got another DNA 200 advice to show you people. Four days of future, one day of past. Yeah, it's another DNA 200 device. And it is the E-Fusion by Lost Vape. Look at that little sexy guy. Let's go ahead and have a look at it, why don't we? We are back once again and we have another DNA 200 device to show you. This one came from Coval Vapes. Shout out to Coval Vapes in San Antonio, Texas. Um, they, uh, they carry a lot of lost vape stuff. They sent me a few things before to review for them, including the E-Square. And this is basically a slightly bigger version of the E-Square. The dimensions of the original that held, that held two 18650s and this one are pretty much identical, only this one is a couple of inches taller. Couple inches taller, but still, overall, not bad. DNA 200 chip uh, board, we all know about that. Great board, uh, love it. 1300 ma fully max lipo in this one. 1300 ma. You know, the standard's been like 900 ma, and some are 1500 ma. This one's 13. And the battery life I've been getting off of this is similar to the uh, H Cigar VT200, which is also a 1300 ma. And it's, it's been good. I can get through a good chunk of the day on this battery. Uh, pretty I'm, I'm a pretty basic bitch, so 600 degrees Fahrenheit, 60 watts is how I rock it most of the time. It does have the potential to go up 200 watts and all that, but to be honest with you, I never even usually over 100 watts. I might only time I'm at 100 watts is with a dripper on these things, and uh, that's plenty for me. But m mainly I just use sub ohm tanks with nickel coils or whatever, so it's kind of my thing. 179.99 is the price of this beauty, and they got it in multiple colors, just like with the E square. Multiple colors. I got that sexy blue that kind of matches my car, pretty sweet. I did drop it. I did drop it. It, it didn't go too bad. This is all uh, billet aluminum. No, is it billet? I don't know, T T601, it's it's aluminum, okay, high grade aluminum. I dropped it and scratched it up some. I'm fucking clumsy. See, it's not just on the videos, people. Out in real life, I'm dropping shit on concrete and it doesn't feel good. It's a lot better on concrete. I mean, it's a lot better on carpet than it is on concrete. I can't tell you that. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a nice mod. I love the look of it, the little carbon fiber on there. I love the size, it's not too big. And uh, yeah, it's not bad. $179.99 is right there in line with some of the other DNA 200 mods. So overall, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let me have a toe. Mm. I think it's a sexy mod. That carbon fiber and that blue, those nice buttons. They put a better firing button. That was a big uh, complaint I had on the E-square. They put a better clickier fire button on here. The first one was kind of mushy. Didn't really care for it. Lost Vape's doing good stuff. Sexy little device here. Anyway, without dicking around too much, what we need to do is dive up close and take a look at it. And there's no better time to do that other than right meow. All right, folks, and here we are up close with the E-Fusion. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging first, as we do. Let's you know stuff. One amp charging, no two amp quick charging here. 1300 ma, removable panels for customization. Um, you can do all kinds of little knickknacks and paddywhacks. Um, yeah, and the, there's that. And then you get a nice little booklet here telling you all about your device, E-Fusion. And then you get this really, I really like this nice uh, retractable micro USB cable. It's all flat and it's blue and it matches the mod kinda. Nice, very nice, I like that, I like that. It's a nice, nice cord, nice cord, man. Anyway, there's that. And first thing I wanna do, damn it, get this damn shit out of the way. I'm gonna show you the differences in size between the original and the new one. There's the E-square, two 18650s, DNA 40 board. Uh, screens right here, instead of on the side. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're similarly sized. You can see one's a little taller than the other. Not too much though. Both of them are still sexy. Sexy little little devices. I like it. I don't know how the hell you remove the panels though for customization. Like how does that work? I'm not too keen on that. Oh damn it I scratched it a little bit down here too. But uh one thing about this one I didn't like. Listen to this button. You hear that button? I hated this button. I love this mod but this button pissed me off, right? 
hear that? They much better button. Good job, guys. <laughs> good job. Uh, you can see where I scratched it when I dropped it. I don't feel good about it. Um, these buttons are a little bit bigger, too. The uh, up and down buttons. They got a better click to them as well. Micro USB port looks a little bit nicer also. There's no charge light indicator on the new one, but uh, still not bad, not bad. Um, let's go ahead and pop this X tank off of here. It looks pretty good on there, it's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. We'll compare five tens. Five tens are about the same. This one's a little bit bigger on the E Fusion versus the E Square. As you can see, a little bit of scarring showing up on both, but that's going to happen on most mods. Anything that sits flush, you're going to get a little bit of scarring from screwing your Addy on and off. But yeah, bigger 510, still spring-loaded, just like the original, just a little bit larger. Um, and you got a little bit of, uh, there was no really, really wasn't a lot of venting on here. Um, this whole plate slid off, but on this guy, you got some venting along the bottom. It looks like I can see some stuff in there, lipos and stuff and things. Carbon fiber looks nice though. It's got a nice little 3D effect. Looks pretty cool. Um, on here, uh, everything's pretty standard. You guys know what to go, what goes on here. Five clicks to lock. I got a parental advisory uh, theme on here. Once again, shout out to DNA 200 themes on Facebook. Great group if you want to go get custom themes for your DNA 200 device. Shout out to those guys. Seth is pretty awesome guy. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple. Pretty simple. Five clicks lock. You can do stuff. Turn it up. Turn it down. You guys know what's going on here. This part everybody's pretty familiar with. It's all about the enclosure and the battery specs at this point. Let me go ahead and get my Addy back on. There we go. All right, and we're back to rocking. Cool. So yeah, it's uh, it's not too big. Uh, it's it still feels nice, kind of like this little guy. It's a little bit thicker too, if you notice. A little bit thicker, a little bit taller. But still, I love the design of this one. The button's better. It's got a DNA 200 in it now. Nice little decent lipo in it. Uh, all is well in the world. And uh, really, that's all I got to, oh, son of a bitch. That's all I got to show you up close uh, on the E-Fusion DNA 200. Lost Vape did a great job on this guy, in my opinion. At this point, I feel perfectly fine with backing out, talking on it, and vaping on it. All right, folks. We are back. We are back. We just took an up close and personal look at the E-Fusion DNA 200 by Lost Vape. Now, the question is twisted. How does it vape? I might need to retire that question because it's a, this week is DNA 200s. They all vape the fucking same. Um, but no, it's, it's been vaping great. And it's been looking great. Besides those scars that I added, I feel, still feel bad about it. Fucking, like, what are you going to do? You know, sometimes these things happen in life. But uh, yeah, I, I'm loving it, man. It's I love the original. I love this one more since they fixed the fire button. It's so much better. So much better. Screens on the side now. I can dig that. Micro USB is on the side, I dig it. The buttons are nice and clicky. All good things. I'm still curious as to what the hell they're talking about as far as customizing panels. I don't know how to get these bitches off. Do they just pop off? Like, what can you, how can you customize it? Do they have, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused on that part. But good stuff here. All good things for the most part. Um, Spring Loaded 510, uh, nice board. A decent sized battery. That's gonna be the biggest thing on these things is the battery. 1300 mAh, it's not bad. And my experience is starting at like six in the morning. I can get to vaping this nonstop. I did it the other day. I probably got to around 3.30 or four, something like that. And that, it depends, cause I vape a lot. It, that's pretty, it's pretty decent. I'll say that. I wish it would have had quicker charging though. Two amp would have been better than one amp, but I don't know. I don't know, it's cool. I, I don't know. I've been I've been spoiled by that damn Rolou, Rulo, Rulos, whatever the hell it is. That thing, battery life. These boards are great, man. It's just battery life. Um, the enclosure is not too big. Thirteen hundred miles, still pretty decent. It, it's pretty good battery life. It's it's not bad, but it's not great either. I'll say it like that. It's better than those 900 mAh batteries that are in most of these things. So I can give it that. Kudos on that. But the battery life is not just. You won't get through. I don't know. I won't get through a full day of vaping uh, on this uh, exclusively. Okay. So just know that you're gonna have to plug up. Something to think about. As far as looks, I love the looks of it. I love the size of it, feel of it. It's nice. It's uh, got a decent weight to it. Not too, too light, not too, too heavy. Right there in that sweet spot. 
uh, $179.99 it's pretty in line with all the other DNA 200 devices maybe 10 bucks more than some of them but it's drop dead sexy in my opinion so uh, nice mod nice mod folks uh, I like it overall it's a good one uh, could have stood could have could have stood a little bit more battery life but uh, I'm not going to complain too much. It's kind of the standard right now. Pretty sure there'll be some advancements with these LiPos and these DNA 200s at some point. But uh, yeah, really that's what I got for you folks. It's the motherfucking E-Fusion. It's a bigger E-Square with a better board and better buttons. All those things I can dig. I can dig. So yeah, folks, I'll put links in the description to Cobalt Vapes if you want to go check these out. Like I said, they got them in multiple colors. You can pick up pick up your little Skittle variety of E-Fusions there. And uh, yeah, so, and, and that's that, folks. And really, that's what I got for you. So with that being said, mm, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember, it doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on, as long as you're not on them nasty-ass stinkies. Okay? And last but not least... You stay sexy, YouTube. Me and this little sexy E-Fusion are out.